It said on the video, called it unregistered land. It is so, unregistered land, so I'm aware. So it has all, the old has all beds is unregistered, so it's no ownership of that land. That's correct, yeah. I mean, in fact, what we're hoping to do is work with local farmer for purpose solution. I'll talk about purpose solutions um, later. But yeah, this, I mean, you're all familiar with the site. This is over time, about 40 tonnes of um, flight material end up on there, half a car, moving etc. The crucial thing about this site, and I'm sure you really want to make, make these things sustainable, is, is denying access. So the, the crucial elements of the improvement works that site was to put uh, best barriers, etc. That's what we really were looking to do in burn solutions, not only back there in the years time and now. So also, I live over there, I drive, I look at it every time I go past them. To date, the, uh, the barriers are still in place and the uh, flight step has been here. We are looking for a burn solution for the farm, the burn solution would be to turn it over into crop and the solution.
if we can invest in a gate which would at least stop these, and it was described as professional light hitters. So at least if we put a gate across, it would stop that in the, in the short term, <laughs> if not the long term, while we, we work out who's going to own the land and who's going to take the ultimate responsibility, instead of the council have to pay year on year, I would say. The part of the solution to this site, because it was not just clearing it, it was, it was, it was secure. And so it's been secure, the work was carried out in, in mid December last year, so six months ago, in the words, yeah.
usual, but, but yes, sir. Yeah, uh, you mentioned uh, Vanders uh, problem to the residents. Why isn't the town all up there? <laughs> That's the biggest problem to all the residents. Well, there you go. You, uh, you try to do that and what do you get? Uh,
which um, was produced on, on the back of some work we did in before Christmas in March of the Ladies UK, an arrangement of partners uh, called the Great Gold Door Knock, which is where um, partner agencies door knock for, for over three days We make referrals to agencies. Um, we're looking to do that in Kensington quite soon in July, so that's really exciting. Um, and with the help of the connectors and uh, <coughs> Helen and um, Gay and my team, we've got this uh, leaflet out to substantial number of households. Jane, in that case, can we thank Jane for the report and the great work?
Chair, I just need to declare an interest in this item um, as I'm the chairman of the, one of the charities that's received money from it. Okay. Yeah. Julie, thank you. Say anything? Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, so as we, as we mentioned in, in Jane's report, the constituency committee has used a, a grants programme, used the community funds to support various organisations. I uh, clearly wanted to reassure people in, uh, the money just doesn't go and we kind of forget about it. We do give some evaluation of the money and the value we get from that. And so uh, we thought it would be a good opportunity just to report back to everyone about what we've done and how the money's been put to you. So, Jane, you're going to yeah. cover this way? I yeah. think um, if it's okay with everyone, I'll stay seated um, and I'll nod to Helen. <coughs>
Amen.